I think. Uh, Senator Waters. Thanks, Chair. Thanks, folks. Uh, just some questions, first of all, about the Cape York, Cape York World Heritage Listing process. Have we got the right people here? Yes. Hi. Um, given the announcement last week that no doubt you saw that the Queensland Government was in fact handing back some of the money it had received from the Commonwealth to undertake consultation on the World Heritage uh, listing process. How is the Commonwealth now intending on completing that consultation process, particularly in respect of traditional owners? Thanks, Senator, for your question. Um, you'd be aware that the consultation uh, around Cape York and potential World Heritage listing has been underway for many years, probably since about 2007, I understand. Um, the process that we're currently engaged in at the moment is to uh, have an initial round of discussions with people on country to see if they are interested in World Heritage listing, and following that we'll go into a full consultation process with uh, people who can speak for country uh, on, those, on those areas. We continue to work cooperatively with the um, Department of Environment and Heritage in Queensland. Uh, they have a country-based planning process underway, which is slightly broader than just simply World Heritage um, mm -hmm. nomination, but uh, I think it's on the public record from the Queensland Government and uh, our Minister that uh, we're both committed to bringing forward a World Heritage listing. Mm -hmm. so look, on that country-based planning, my understanding is there hasn't been any new contracts since the change of government in the, in, at the state level. Um, and I'm just asking for a bit more detail about whether the Commonwealth is intending on facilitating that country-based planning in order to pursue the World Heritage listing, or are you pursuing a different means of engagement with TOs? Questions on country-based planning are really uh, best directed to the Queensland Government. It's their process, so they're running that, um, and we're working jointly and cooperatively with them on, uh, I guess, a broad range of other matters relating to bringing forward the World Heritage nomination. So will the Commonwealth be relying on any of those country-based planning um, frameworks in order to progress the World Heritage listing, or are they being treated separately? They will come together to inform the World Heritage listing. Uh, the Australian Government is the state party that uh, puts together the nomination, mm -hmm. so we will be seeking input from a number of uh, processes. Um, OK, look, I've got some further detail, but given the, the timing, I might um, put those aspects on notice because it's perhaps a little more complicated than I'm able to um, get through at this point in time. Uh, is the department doing any modelling uh, of alternative economies on the Cape so that traditional owners have um, a bit more information about the choices that they can make between a mining future or a world heritage future? We're holding a, an, an Indigenous um, workshop next week, uh, and that may well be and will be a, an issue that will be covered at that workshop as well. Is the department doing modelling as such or will you just have a little workshop about it? Is there, is there further work that will um, underpin that workshop? The, the inputs will start to look at what are the benefits of uh, World Heritage listing mm -hmm. uh, and through both country-based planning and some of the consultation uh, that information will be collected and compiled through that process, yes. And will that be disseminated? The information that is collected will be provided into the nomination um, document. Um, some of the material that we provide will be uh, compiled into reports and, and uploaded onto the web, yes. But it won't form part of the actual consultation process with traditional owners? Is that, is that what you mean? Or Sorry, could you restate so the question? The question was question? initially, are you doing actual modelling about alternative economies? So and secondly, if so, that, will, yeah. that, um, will you be communicating that to traditional <coughs> owners as part of the consultation on the World Heritage Listing? We've not yet planned to do any modelling, but that may well be one of the issues that comes through our consultation. OK. Thank you. And how's the nomination progressing? Will we meet the February deadline? At this stage, we have a fairly well advanced um, understanding of the natural values and there was a science workshop or a panel of scientists convened uh, last week, uh, independent, to describe what the outstanding universal values uh, for the natural parts of the, of, of the whole of the Cape York Peninsula. Uh, next week, as I said, we are holding an Indigenous workshop to start to collate and describe some of the cultural story mm -hmm. uh, and then that will be um, 
I guess, incorporated into the further work that is going on with the uh, country-based planning and our consultation with traditional owner groups. So fairly well advanced. Okay. I might put on notice whether or not you're looking at those natural values across the whole of the CAPE or just certain aspects of the CAPE? Across the whole of the CAPE, I can confirm okay. that Okay, yes. that's 